Okay, today we will be doing the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is an equation. So, first thing we're going to do is reset our calculators. And uh, after we reset them, we will, we will uh, adjust our window. So, remember to reset it, you want to press second. It's highlighted red. The addition sign. Then you want to press the numbers 7, 1, 2. And that will reset your calculator. Next, you want to adjust the window. The window button is right up at the top in gray. It's next to the Y equal button. Press it. And you simply want to go after all the zeros and add an additional zero. This allows us to solve equations that are small and big. Okay, once I've, had, I've added my zeros to the window, I'm ready to go. I can press second, then mode right next to it, and it takes me back to the home screen. Okay, the Pythagorean Theorem, the state of Texas standard is 8.7c. Use the Pythagorean Theorem, and it's converse to solve problems, and I'm going to explain to you and show you what that is. Okay, this formula shows the relationship between the, between the three sides of a right triangle. Okay, it only works for a right triangle, meaning that one of the angles will have to be 90 degrees. Okay, uh, you can find the missing side. This is what we'll be doing, finding the missing side when given the other two sides. Okay, A and B are the legs or the two short sides and C is the hypotenuse and the word hypotenuse simply is the longest side that's important because that's the side that we're going to identify in this formula the longest side and you can identify the hypotenuse because it is always opposite the right angle okay you will be drawing an arrow to identify that one on each problem let's show you what a problem looks like Okay, here it says find the mission, missing measure for each right triangle. Well, we have one right triangle here, and we know that it is a right triangle because here's our right angle. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do before I even start my work is I'm going to locate the longest side by drawing an arrow from the tip of that right angle from the corner across, and this is my longest side. That is C. In this situation, we're finding C, which is fine. Next, I'm going to go and I'm going to write my formula, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, that's an equation, right? Because we have an equal sign and we have something on this side of the equal sign and something on that side. And all we're going to do is we're going to plug in these numbers. Once you have located C, the other two are A and B, and they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter if you make this one A or B. The only one that's super important that can is not interchangeable is C. Okay? So if you made 20B and, and made 15A, that's fine. It will still work. Those two legs are interchangeable. Okay? So we have 20 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared, okay? That is the equation that we're going to solve, so we're going to use our calculators to solve that equation. Here's how we do so. Just like we've practiced, you're going to press Y equal. You're going to write 20 squared plus 15 squared. Okay, because that's uh, that's one side of the equal sign. Remember, in our equations, you write one side of the equal sign for y1, and then you write the other side of the equal sign for y2. Then we're going to go down, and there we have c squared. So remember, the calculator only solves for x, so we have x. Excuse me, I put the wrong thing. We should have squared there. Delete. Delete. So x squared, and that's what it looks like. So here I have my 20 squared plus 15 in the calculator, my 20 squared plus 15 squared, and then I have my x squared. 
And the three buttons that we push, second, trace, five, give it some time to calculate. Okay, and remember, when first curve pop at the bottom, I simply want to press enter three times. One, two, three. To get the intersection, our answer is 25. C equals 25. And that's how we use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side of a right triangle. Here's another example of this. Example two. Okay, so once again, I have identified my right angle. Here's my right angle. Okay, I'm going to draw the arrow. And once again, we're finding C. We're finding the longest side. Okay, which means that the two sides that they gave us are A and B. Okay. Now I'm going to write my formula. We have a squared plus b squared. And you don't have to remember this formula. It is given on your formula chart. Okay. So we're going to substitute the 5 for a. We're going to plug in the 12 for b. And once again, we're finding c. We have that equation that we're going to solve. So once again, we're going to press the y equal button. We can clear out that previous equation that we solved to get that answer. We're going to use our new numbers here. So we're going to use our 5 squared plus 12 squared. Then we're going to go down to type in the other side, which is the C squared. Now remember, no matter what the variable is, the calculator only solves for x, which is right next to alpha. So x squared, we have everything plugged in. We're going to press our second trace five. Give it some time to calculate. OK, then you're going to press enter, enter, enter. And our answer here is 13 C equals 13. And that's how you do the Pythagorean theorem. Here's another example. Okay, the first thing I'm going to locate here, it says a right triangle and two of its side lengths are shown on the diagram. Which measurement is closest to the value of x? So here's what we're finding. Here's my right angle. I'm going to draw my arrow. Oh, no, there's a number there. So that is C. That is the longest side. So we're missing the A or B, and it doesn't matter which one you make it. We're going to make that A and make this one B. So I'm going to write my A squared plus B squared equals C squared because that's what the formula is. And now for a squared, when I bring it down, it's going to stay a squared because we don't have a number to plug in. That's the one that we're missing that we're going to find. Here we're going to write 22 squared. And for c, we're going to put 24 squared. And so when I go to my calculator to have it solve this equation for me, I press my y equal. Clear out your previous problem. Okay. We have our x squared plus 22 squared. Okay. I know it says A right here, but remember the calculator only solves for x, the button right next to alpha. Then we go down and we're going to put in our 24 squared. Okay. Now that I have everything typed in correctly, I'm going to press my second trace 5. Give it some time to calculate. Enter, enter, enter. And we have 9.59. A equals 
9.59. Now, the question says which measurement is closest to 9.59. 32.6 is not. 9.6 is. 6.8 is not. And 92 is not. And that's how we do the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, I have several more practice problems for us here that we're going to go through. And I'm going to show you how to use what's called the Pythagorean theorem converse. And this is the same thing. You just have to prove that it is a right triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. So here we're going to write the Pythagorean theorem. It says determine whether the dimensions of the triangles given is a right triangle. So for it to be a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem has to work. So we're only going to use the two smallest numbers. This one right here, we'll use in the end, but we're going to use the 13 squared plus the 21 squared. And we're going to see if the calculator gives us 28. If it does, then it is a right triangle. If it gives us a number other than 28, it is not a right triangle. So let's go to our calculator and let's solve this equation. Press Y equal. I'm going to clear out this. I'm going to clear out this and then I'm going to type it in. 13 squared plus 21 squared. Okay, then I'm going to go down and I'm going to type in my x squared. Second trace 5. Enter, enter, enter. And we got 24.69. Now, does that equal 28? No. Therefore, this is not a right triangle. It has to equal. And that's how you use the converse. End of the lesson. Have a good day.